Okay, I've been tutoring some grade nines lately, and they're all learning how to graph straight lines using X and Y intercepts. It's a pretty easy process, but you gotta get used to it and hopefully get fast at it. The way to graph lines using intercepts is to plug in X equals zero and then solve for Y in that smaller equation. The number that you get for Y will be the Y intercept, and it will be a point that you can put onto the graph. Then, separately, you're going to plug in y equals 0 and solve for the x that's left over. That number is actually going to be the x-intercept, and that will be another point on the graph. You just have to plot these two points on a grid and then draw a straight line through them. It's pretty straightforward, but let's get used to it by practicing together. Let's do it for this line, which is in standard form. Step one is to plug in y equal, wait, what do I say? Step one is plugging in x equals zero. So what I have is zero plus three y plus 12 equals zero. I'm gonna move all my y's to the left side, which they're already on, and all the numbers to the other side. That leaves me with three y equals negative 12. Notice that the positive 12 became negative 12 because I had to subtract 12 on both sides to move it there. To isolate for y, I divide both sides by 3, and I end up with y equals negative 4. That means that my y-intercept is going to be at 0, comma, negative 4, and I will plot that on a grid very soon. Step 2 was to plug in 0 for y. x plus 3 times 0 plus 12 equals 0. Now, 3 times 0 is 0, so I will do that multiplication now. In fact, multiplication is the first thing to do here with Bedmus. I'm going to keep x on the left, move all my numbers to the right. I have x equals negative 12. It's minus 12 on the other side of the equal sign, just like it was over here. And I have x equals negative 12. That means my x-intercept is 12 comma 0. To, to graph this, if I had a grid, I would definitely use it. But here's my makeshift grid. My y-intercept is somewhere down here at 0, comma, negative 4. My x-intercept is somewhere in the positive x zone. Let's put it, I don't know, here. And I will label that as 12. Then I use a ruler, which I don't actually have, but I'll use the... Uh, I'll use this calculator as a ruler, and I draw a line through those two points. Da, 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 da. I kind of missed, but it was close enough. And there it is. There's my straight line. Now, I could have done graphing this by figuring out what the slope and the y-intercept were. I'm guessing the y-intercept would have been negative 4, and the slope would have been positive, I don't know, a third or something like that. And then I'd go up 1, over 3, up 1, over 3, up 1, over 3. But here, we only need two points, graph them, draw a line through it, and you are done. That is how to graph with intercepts. Let's do another one together. Why not? Step one, plug in x equals zero. Step one, four times zero plus two y equals two. Four times zero is zero plus two y equals two. Uh, zero plus anything is just that same thing left over, so that really didn't mean anything. And then to isolate for y, I, oh, I divide both sides by 2. 2y two over 2 is y, and 2 over 2 is 1. So that means that my y-intercept here is 0, comma, 1. Let's find the x-intercept together. We do that by plugging in 0 for y, plus 2 times 0 equals 2. That's 4x plus 0. I multiply it again. 4x plus 0 is just 4x. And then I divide both sides by 4 because I'm isolating for x. x is 1 half. That means that my x-intercept here is probably at 1 half, or 0 0.5, comma 0. If we graph this together, I'm going to give myself a grid. My y-intercept is going to be at 0 comma 1. My x-intercept is going to be at 0 0.5 comma 0. And then I use my super exciting ruler to draw a line through those points. Da, da, da. There we go. Ooh, that was a little better. Put arrows on both sides, and there it is. 
If I did this with slope y-intercept, I probably would have gotten a y-intercept as one and a slope of negative two. I would have gone down two over one, down two over, I'd be way off the grid that I have here, but it would have gone through that point and so I would have ended up with the same line. It's easy to graph lines with y and x-intercepts as long as you know what to do and as long as you're comfortable with the algebra. But don't worry, you can practice, you can get better. I believe in you. Best of luck.